Hey guys, it's Calista. Today I am going to be walking you guys through the second video um, around my building block series. So this one is going to be focused on the altar. So this is a question that I kept hearing uh, when I was in one of a, the newer kind of guilds from um, I think like the Kingdom 130 or something. Uh, which was like, what is the point of the altar? I don't get this, right? So the altar, and it gives you a pretty, di pretty, I would say, specific example in terms of what the altar does, which is basically gives you boosts after you've executed a leader. So the altar works in conjunction with the prison, right? So um, you can see what the boosts look like here. And if you're able to max out your altar, the boosts are super significant, right? Like 38% army attack, army defense, army max HP, and it also gives you a travel speed increase, which is super cool, right? So for the sake of you all, and because I love you all so much, I'm going to go ahead and execute my alt leader. So you can see kind of how that whole thing works. So you can see I have cute little Stylosa. Stylosa is an Overwatch um, a streamer that I love to watch. Um, and I have six licenses to kill. These things can be quite expensive. They used to be cheaper before. Uh, but I went ahead, used the license to kill, which basically says I don't have to wait three days for my prison to be done with this prisoner. I can kill them immediately. And all of a sudden, you can see that my altar boost has a beautiful golden glow. You can also see that altar boost per executed prisoner only lasts 24 hours, right? So if you kill, let's say, 30 prisoners, you're going to have 30 days worth of boost. They basically stack on top of one another, which is neat. Um, if you're thinking about how to maximize this, you know, your altar and your prison boost, if you're about to take a rally, one potential idea is to try to get two uh, leaders, so two level 60 leaders, either from alts or friends. Um, probably the one that you execute should be a very good friend or your own alt. Uh, but you're basically going to hold a level 60 prisoner in your prison and then grab the other one, quickly use license to kill so you can then get an altar boost. And again, this is if you're gonna get like, you know, a double rally or you're gonna take a rally from somebody with like golden champion, you know it is going to absolutely wreck you. You want to give yourself your best chance. And this is an opportunity to very, very quickly within those five minutes, be able to get yourself a 68% army attack boost, a 38% defense boost, 38% max HP. Uh, which is going to help you tremendously when you're thinking about all the things that, um, you know, taking a really strong rally could do to you, right? In terms of just kind of like wiping out your troop base. Now, in order to be able to improve or upgrade um, your altar, it does require soul crystals. So where steel cups are used for prison, soul crystals are used for the altar. Um, these things can be quite expensive. They're about 20 or 15 gems a piece. Uh, so they are pricey. Another way to get them is through guild gifts. I've gotten a tremendous amount through guild gifts. Uh, so as people are purchasing different packs, you might get soul crystals through there. Um, I have had to purchase with gems some of the remaining ones because as you're kind of moving up the chain, it does require more and more soul crystals to be able to upgrade them. Um, this building, this altar is part of the buildings that you are going to need to max out in order to be able to unlock T4. But in addition to that, I just wanted to make sure everybody was aware it is tremendously beneficial. Um, and if you're sitting in a kingdom where you have a low likelihood of regretting sitting unshielded and you can quickly get on the game in case you're being rallied or attacked, it would make sense for you to you know, hold prisoners in your prison until you can execute them and then be able to take advantage of your altar boost. I've known people that have had altar boosts for hundreds of days just from the amount of prisoners that they've been able to stack. So imagine how awesome it is to have those boosts for such a long period of time. Hope this was helpful. Please let me know in the comments below if there are any additional buildings that you would like to see a deep dive on. I think I'm still gonna think about treasure trove, battle hall, etc. Thank you so much for watching.